Hello and welcome to Raymond's Art Studio at www.raymondsartstudio.com Okay, so for this session we're going to turn a one, one pound piece of clay into a tea bowl. So let's get started. I have to turn on my wheel. Clean up my wheel a little bit. Get my bat on. Clean up the bat slightly. I always seem to have leftovers from the last session. Okay, let's get started. We're going to turn one pound piece of clay that I have wedged and ready to go into a tea bowl. This specific tea bowl, I use the measurements, three measurements. The base will be three inches in diameter, and the it will be three inches tall and five inches wide at the top, if everything goes well. I'm gonna mark my center. Get my clay mounted. Nice firm tap in the center. Make sure it's sticking well, and it is. We'll go around with our hands, firm down the edges, get it nice and round. At this point, it's fairly centered. Two hands, one on the side, one on the top. Firm pressure, firm pressure. Keep it wet so the clay doesn't grab a hold of your hand and tear off the bat. Got it centered there. Now I'm going to bring it up and cone it. Squeezing gently, 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 and raising the clay up into a cone shape. I'm going to get it wet. I'm going to start at the base and do it one more time. Squeezing in and gently, 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 bringing the clay up. Don't pull the top off. Good. Now we'll mushroom it back down, two hands, one on the side, put pressure on the side, one on the top, the side of your hand on the top, pressure, slight pressure, starts getting too sticky, get a little moisture, slight pressure, pressure in, pressure on the top, gently, gently, gently take it down to the base. I'm going to push it in, push it back down, push it in and up, push it back down. At this point, I'm going to clean the base, get rid of some of the excess so that it's nice and round. Now it's ready to be opened up. We're going to go into the center with this finger. Keep it moist. All the way down. We're going to leave about a quarter inch base. I'm going to check my base with my pin. Stick it in. Mark it with my finger. I'm right at a quarter of an inch or just slightly over, which is perfect. I'm going to put pressure on the base to make it nice and firm. Now I'm going to bring it out, open it up more, squeezing with my fingers and my thumb. Bring it up slightly, bring it up slightly, slowly, smoothly. There we go. At this point I want to Make a nice firm top. Keep the top rim firm. Keep checking it. Make sure it's firm. Okay, at this point I want to check the base. 
Now it's slightly oversized, it's not quite down to three inches, so I'm going to push in the base. I want to get it in to where it's three inches. That's my, that's my size for this bowl. Let's try again. And I'm there. Good. I'm going to clean up the bottom just a little bit again with my, with my rib tool. Now it's time to raise the walls and open her up even further. So I'm going to start with the base with my finger. I'm pushing out with my inner fingers. Raising it slowly, slowly, slowly. Nice. To the top. Put a little pressure on the, on the rim. Try to get a nice rim. Now we're going to wet it again, and we're going to go back and we're going to bring it out further. I want, I want about a half inch of a base down here for my T-bowl. I want it to sit on a nice base. At this point, I'm just putting pressure outward. Outward. I'm just widening the bowl slowly. Widen it slowly. Bring it upward. At this point, I'm going to check the height. Right now, I'm just a little over my three inches, but it's not quite wide enough. I want five and a half, and I'm at about four and three quarters, so I need to widen it slightly and bring it up just a little bit. So we're going to start at the base again, and I'm going to just put slight, slight pressure outward. Slow the wheel down. And that should just about do me there. We'll see where we're at. Pressure on the top, pressure on the top. So now I'm at three inches high, five and a half inches wide, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna take the moisture out. I'm gonna put a little pressure on the base. Pressure, pressure. You want the base to be nice and firm so it won't crack in the kiln. Tidy up the outside just a little bit with my sponge. Make it nice and smooth. Make sure my bowl is rounded the way I want it to be. It looks very nice. It has a good base. Clean my bat up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with my, with my rib tool the point of it and I'm going to put a little ridge in the bottom so that when I cut it off it'll be smooth cut and that's my session on making a t-bowl out of a one pound piece of clay I hope you've learned something from this session I hope you've enjoyed yourself in our next session we'll be turning the bowls over and we'll be turning the bases and making the foot on the bowl Thank you and join me again soon.